Not a rollover you'd want, especially with lives or limbs in a lottery. These are training exercises, though US forces logged 119 real vehicle capsizes in a year. But prepared is protected. So these British troops, only hours into Afghanistan, are about to have their world turned upside down. OK, uh, what's going to happen now is we're going to go an undisclosed number of degrees in an undisclosed direction. For the first time, new arrivals now have to submit to an hour's realistic churning and turning before being qualified to patrol out in armoured vehicles. There's certainly been a number of rollover incidents in theatre which have caused uh, injuries. Uh, and this is just a result of that and, uh, and moving the training forward uh, and that's the key area, it's moving the training forward from doing it in a live platform which we, we can't roll over to actually now giving that experience of, of rolling over. The simulator can vary the angle or add complications like different exit routes, a casualty to be dragged clear or low light. You're really disorientated when it's dark. Uh, I've never been in a vehicle when it's rolled over so I don't know how fast it would go but you know to me that was as close to real as what it'll be. If it ever did happen for real, God forbid, you know, at least you'd have a better idea of what's going on. It may look tamer than your average thrill ride. Once inside the blacked out cabin though, it's scarily realistic. And that really is quite difficult to handle because these thankfully foam rubber ammunition boxes all, all over the place. That would just hit me in the face. <laughs> Not too painful, certainly nothing like a real one would be, but it's important to do all that so that the soldiers who work and fight from these vehicles know what to expect if the worst should happen. They don't find out for the first time when they're out in the desert. Jeff Mead, Forces News, inverted in the armoured training vehicle. <laughs> 